Julian. Bang! Julian, stop it! Bang, bang! Julian! <laughs> <laughs> allowed disturbing a piece and lifting her ruddy legs on no tombstones. You don't ever lift his ruddy leg, do you, Doc? You know you've been forbid to go near that grave specially. Don't care if I am. I like putting flowers on this grave and put flowers on this grave I oh, will. Oh, tell Mr. Dakers. Tell God if you like. Go on, get out! No. Get out of here, don't you like Get out of here! You wait till Mr. Dakers! Go on, get out of here! Get out of here! Chippo! Why can't she put flowers there? I'll have you run in, Jippo. Why can't she? Well, there's me orders. That's why. From who? Mr. Dakers, that's who. That's his boy's grave, and he don't want her near it. I'm sexton here. And what I says goes. No half-witted girls, no dogs lifting their legs, and no Jippos. Got it? Right. Who's he then? Don't know. Why, you put flowers on him? Don't know. I like graves. 
What's your name? Bridie White. Bridie White. What's your name? Roybin Krasenkia. Oh. Oh, that about lifting his leg. He waits. Don't you, dog? Does it on the Herban District Council gate. Come on, Bob. I don't go. Why not? I like talking to you. It's tea time. Come on, dog. Now what is it? What's the matter? Harold's dead. Who? My hamster. Oh. And... And Nellie's down right poorly. Why? Don't know. You don't look after the dratted things, do you? You just go off and play. You hardly look at them. I play with them every day. Run up my arm, they do. Get in my dress and have a good look round. Disgusting, I call it. Waste of money, I call it. I hate things. Always going wrong. It's not plugged in. Will you take a pulse? Oh, don't be daft. Some of your gin, then? Unless you want to send her out in an alcoholic haze. Did you give them any water? No. They get the green stuff and... Well, how long since they had water, then? Two weeks. Two weeks? Don't you understand? No one can live without water. That's murder, that is. If I get me pen filler. Bring them in, then. little mate. I think Nellie's at peace. You're right. I think she's gone too. <sighs> what shall I do with them then? Bury them, of course. Anywhere you like, but don't upset the flowers. Upset? You know what I mean. Disturb. Flowers are growing. And... Can't just stick them in the ground. It's cold. Mr. Cheese won't put people in coffins like beds. That's people. Harold and Nelly were people too. These two? Want any help? No, thank you. I'd rather be alone with them for a bit.
my peace I give unto you. Crowd of deaders, all looking to the east from whence he shall come. What you got there, Dusty? Me moon. He's a deader now. Oh, I'm a redder. A deader? Not my redder. He had such a long lifeline. Oh, no. He could have lived forever. What happened then? Did he die of his own accord? His eyesight was poor. Oh, and Moses is. He was going down the street to the post office. And these blooming cows of Dacre's come along. And one of the idiots stood on him. Which idiot? The one with the big tits. Why was he going to the post office? I don't know. It just was. Poor Amaretti. He was a close friend. Remember him in the choir? Aye. Uh, he loved you, Amaretti did. Where are you going to put him? Next to me, ma'am. I think I could. Why not? I mean, this is where they all go. Isn't it? Next your man. By the tree. Loving friend. Son of Edgar. Right. Bring your trowel. Quite old, isn't he? Never got to see her. Where'd you get this hanky? It's my sister's. Nice of her. She don't know. I made a cross for him. Go on, then. The one too. So cold and lonely. Oh, you can't tell me. I just had the same trouble. Harold and Nelly. I'm a widow twice in one day. You can't leave him in your sister's hanky forever. Won't be a second. What's up? Don't go away. I'll be back. My peace I give unto you. Peace I give unto you, Rudy. What are you up to? Burying people. Who? My two hamsters and Dusty Miller's mole. They all right there? Of course. My mother's buried somewhere. Here? Yeah. Did you know her? 
My father is over there. Didn't know him either. It's quiet. Isn't it? Where do you live? In a wagon. Chippo, like he said. With your father. Got no father. Got a dog, have you? How do you, how do you get that? Dunno. Oh, how? Dunno. Accident, my mum says. Afternoon, Mrs. Dacres. Don't you ever go home? Ma'am, don't mind, Mr. Cheeseman. Who's this for then? Mrs. Hearn. Don't mind me saying, Mr. Cheeseman. I think she's too fat for it. Not now, she ain't. Mr. Dacre's coffin still there? Oh, it is. Why does he want to see his coffin before he gets into it? Well, he couldn't see it after, could he? Well, lots of people do. Chinese carry theirs around with them. Why? Well, it keeps them in mind of. Keeps her in mind. Mr. Dacus doesn't like me. I say hello and he walks by glaring. Ma'am says he drove a drink going on about it. About what? Don't know. She never says. Better go in and have a cup of tea, then run along home. Mother will be wondering where you be. If she's still vertical. It was horrible, Jake, he said. All squashed in red. She had some kittens last week. They're dying now. Kathy. Yes, ma'am? Can't you kids talk of anything else? I would have thought Dennis would interest you, Mr. Cheeseman. Even though they're squashed. Why aren't animals buried in the churchyard? It's consecrated ground. They haven't got souls. Why not, Dad? If Susan's cat had a soul, would it be squashed too? Meredith's too. He was trodden on by the cow with the big tits. Not hungry, dear. Why not, Dad? Why not bury animals in churchyards? Chaos, wouldn't it? Herds of sheep and cattle and cats and dogs. Moles. Hamsters. Effluence. You see? Right, you run along now. Could you make a coffin for Evelyn, Dad? Edith. Run along, Bridie. How can you tell when a worm's a deader, Dad? What? A worm. How can you tell when it's a deader? Oh, dear Lord. God hears us all when we call to him. His mercy extends to all of us. In pain and in joy, in all hours. 
Oh, no, I've said it all before. What minister hasn't, damn it? Part of a good shot. Couldn't exactly miss, dear. No, oh, I wish I could get my hands on her. She's harmless. Harmless? She shot at me. You can be arrested for less than that. Let me tell you, one of these days. That's what I... Edwin Dacre says, Dolly. One of these days. He's he got a bee in his bonnet. Well, small wonder after what he's been through. Well, sometimes when people have a guilty conscience, they're inclined to shift the blame to other shoulders. Well, it wasn't his fault. Well, no one knows the truth, do they? You never will. I think it's what they call an open and shut case. Oh, poor Mr. Dacres. Well, what he says it ought to be under care and attention. That's what he says. She has a mother. Then what a mother. I don't want to be uncharitable, but really. Unmarried and, well, constantly inebriated. Oh, right, he always seems well fed and happy. Oh, nonsense, Gertrude. She's like a runaway pony, completely out of control. Well, good luck and Godspeed to her. All right, all right. But one of these days, you're going to eat those words. I hope not. Anyway, my dog liked her so much, I had to give him to her. Well, I always thought animals were supposed to know. They do. Remember what Paul told the Corinthians, as in Adam, all must die. Even so, in Christ, the dead are made alive. If you're not dead, why aren't you moving? Bridie! Bridie White, what are you doing up there? Is it dead? Uh, yes, I think it is. When does it start going to heaven? It's gone already, I think. It's still here in my hand. Yes, but um, not it's so. Oh, they has them then. There is some argument. Shall I bury it? Give it a flick of your finger. How about that? Go to God. Can't do that with people, though, can we? Might save a lot of heartache. And Mr. Slim, a lot of work. Dig in. Friday. You'd better hurry along home. Your mother will be worried. Aye. If she's still vertical. Hurry, Jean Paul. Two darks. Two darks? Got a mattress and an old iron bedstead you can collect the next time you're around. Tomorrow. Anything else? Just you leave me old chickens alone, will you? Don't need to steal chickens. We've got money enough. <laughs> and you rich, eh? No rent, no taxes. You're the lucky ones, you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> noise for her to be making, isn't it? Cuckoo. Righty white. Cuckoo. Ah, she's all sky west and crooked. She's all right, boy. Oh, she's a bit simple. She's harmless enough. My boy Dusty likes her. Yeah, harmless. That's the point, isn't it? I mean, one of these days, some young tyke's gonna get hold of her and do her a bit of no good. Like, uh, get away. They've been liars, the lot of them. Happy, though. It's dying race, too. Pity. <laughs> they won't die out. Oh, they wagons. It'll last for 400 years. <laughs> that young'un's got his dirty eye on Brady White. Her mother ought to know. Yeah, there's talk of putting the kid away where she can do no harm. Well, that's damn stupid, isn't it? What harm can kids do? Another dead up. Hey, Chalky told me. In the grass cutter. I see it happen. They were going to bury her. I told them where we put Meridia. And Harold and Nellie. Are you going to bury my Mona there, bride? Is Harold and Nellie and Meridia in heaven? Right away, the vicar said. My Mona's still here. Hmm. 
That's just her old coat. In old Dacre's outhouse, there's some pheasants and a duck hanging up. They ought to be buried, hey, Bride? chalky has gone to get them. And pheasants and ducks are for old Dacre's Sunday dinner. He won't half be angry. What's happened to Mona if that's just her old coat? An angel took her up in his wings. Angels do that. Took my dad, Mamses. An ambulance took my dad to Chippin' Sopley. Bridie! Bridie! Yes? Anybody see you, Chalky? Oh, dead he is, or dead and nasty. Of course, that's why he's going to have a funeral. What's this, then? Dusty said bring anything we could find. It's your Sunday dinner. Take it back. He wants whole dead as not bits. <laughs> When shall we do it? Tonight. We'll do it tonight when it's dark. Will they be looking at us or them deaders? Will they? Tell you something else. When it's the end of the world, God walks right in through that churchyard gate and lets them all out. Cool. What a sight. When, bride? Any time. Could be tonight. I'd like to see God. I wouldn't. There's jippers up at the dump again. I seen one fishing, all in black. I'm afraid of jippers. You afraid of them, bride? No. I talked to one. Gypsy? Thought it warn you. That girl of yours being for one of a word. Uh... Innocent. Well, yes, if you like. Can I ask you in for a cup of tea, Mr. Sloop? There's uh, one of them in particular got his eye on her. What for? We don't have to say, do we? I just made the tea. I mean, you don't want another scandal, do you? Or gin and lime. Just had a beer. Oh. So give her a straight talking to, eh? Bridie. Bridie's a child. You wouldn't think so, would you? Just looking at her, I mean. What do you mean? She's filling out a bit, isn't she? I hadn't noticed. Oh, some is. Right. Righty, where have you been? It's been long since you've been up to now. He's worked all night. What a cheek. Might have called me. What you get? One of old Dacre's hens. One of his pigs, too. A pig? Only a young un. Got sat on by its ma'am. Ah. Uh... Struck a bit of hard ground for it, though. Call it to a murder. It's too much. It's too much and too many. Don't face about, dear. You'll upset your stomach. My stomach's upset already. What am I going to do? You just have to think about it. Quietly. I mean, it isn't as if it's a, a large churchyard, is it? I mean, there's old Mrs. Hearn the day after tomorrow, and that was roughly her position. It's the point of no return. 
It's Sunday morning. And the congregation about to arrive. All three of them. Now, don't sit on that cold stone, dear. Why not? Anyone think I haven't got any trousers on? I suppose they'll have to be dug up. Of course they will, but if I'd only had all night. But now, just before morning service. Oh, who could have done it? Children, dear, children. Well, of course it's children, but what's the right way to tackle it? You'll just have to talk to them, dear. Explain that they've got to put them in a field or somewhere. I'm so bad at talking to children. They, they stare me out. Well, stare back at them. Oh, my. What is it? The entire village is out there. Oh, that's a nice change. Oh. What am I going to say to them? You'll say what has to be said. And say it well. It's Bridie. That's who it is. It's Bridie White. We will sing hymn number 573. I was astonished. I was astonished and somewhat horrified by what met my eyes in the churchyard this morning. The wanton desecration of a place reserved for the dead of our village. These little mounds are plainly the graves of animals and birds that some children have buried. This is not an act of vandalism. We must understand that. In fact, I, I think I know what was in their minds. But, uh, but no matter how innocent this may be, this kind of conduct cannot be permitted. I want the children responsible to see me after Sunday school this afternoon, when uh, I, I shall have to uh, Decide what action may have to be taken. One more thing. As we have such a large congregation this morning, this is perhaps the moment to say that probably a wider responsibility for this lies on the shoulders of the parents. I should like to talk to them too. Oh! <laughs> 
Shocking and sacrilegious. I agree, Dolly. She ought to be punished. She ought to be shut away. Who? Well, the white girl, of course. I should burn the church down Sheriff, next. Mr. Dacus? What proof have you that it is Bridie White? Proof? She's the ringleader. She's the instigator of everything those kids do. Oh, come, children always get up to mischief on holiday. I don't think we ought to take it. Aren't you supposed to teach them how to behave in that school of yours? Oh, come, Mrs. Rigby. It's hard enough trying to teach them the three hours without having to... Aren't we all getting rather carried away? I mean, after all, clearly the contents of your larder aren't lying deposited in the churchyard, Philip. All the same, Doctor, I think a sense of humour. Sense of humour? What's funny about having no Sunday lunch? If you ask me, you're all talking out of your backside. What a thing to say! Shocking! Some too nice and religious kids. Bloody fuss about now. It ain't got me worried. <laughs> Why not, son? Did the kids get you to make the coffins for them? Now, you're a bit too close needing a chest yourself, Fred, so watch it. Excuse me. Mm. Same again, Cyril. Oh, I see it is our affair. The parents. Not them, but the vicarage. Well, if that girl's not in need of care and attention, I'll eat my hat. Then you won't be undernourished, dear. Gertrude, I think you and Philip are taking this far too lightly. The girl is becoming a danger. Oh, really? Just because a group of kids... Well, I'll... Uh, I'll speak to them, tell them they'll have to bear their animals somewhere else. Well, if it gets away with this next thing, they'll be jamming any old thing out there. Dig them all up, Slim. Throw them over the wall. Yes, sir. Now, listen. This is my parish. The churchyard is my responsibility. Let me handle it my own way. I've already told you I shall speak to the parents, and I shall see the children in Sunday school this afternoon. Do we need him? Or any of them? Whose kids are they? Not mine. Oh, well, we all know about you, you old ram. <laughs> right, old Fred's got a bite. Sneeze your way out of that one, Fred. Listen, I'll tell you what we do. Afternoon. Afternoon, Fred. Afternoon, Vicar. Oh, sir. None of them turned up. Well, don't be worried, Vicar. They couldn't. Couldn't? Well, they were locked in, all of them, for punishment. Punishment? Yeah, young Cheeseman's idea of the boy and donkey. Lock the kids in, he says. Yes, says the others, like a lot of sheep. All of the children? Except her. Right, I want to I talk to you. I've been around the village. They're shut in their rooms, making faces through the windows at me. I want to talk Mind to you. Mind you, I told them not to come to Sunday school anyway. You did? Hmm. So as I could talk to you on my own. Bridie, about the, uh, about your animals. Friends. Harold and Nelly and... Taking and things Daisy. from people's larders, it, it's no joke, Bridie. It wasn't meant to be no joke. As we were burying two or three, you might as well do the lot. Well, you got me into a lot of trouble. You're going to punish me? No. Oh, Bridie, you worry me very much. You know, many girls of your age are married and have children. Are you going to dig them up, then? Well, they can't stay here. This ground's concentrated. You can't, can you? Well, it's been done before during the war. You know what I think? I think every dead ought to have an animal for company. You've got to understand. They have animals when they're, when they're alive, why not when they're dead? Now, listen. I've had an idea. If I let you have a cemetery in my garden, will you promise not to bury anything else in the churchyard? Of course. 
then we can bury Dennis any time we like. No, Grady, no, it's a, it's a small garden. No, you've got to ask me first. All right, then. Good. Well, I'll tell your mother. I'll tell all the parents. They'll understand. Parents do understand, Bridie. I've got to go now. No doubt you've heard of the business in the churchyard. I heard about it. Very naughty of them. And the church council are very worried about Bridie. They think she's the ringleader, and one or two of them are quite vindictive about it. Bridie's all right. Mischievous, that's all. Perhaps if her home life were a little more... Well, frankly, if you paid a little more attention to her and a little less to uh, that. I hardly touch it. There are some very narrow-minded people in this world. Maybe that's why you don't have a great number of friends. I'm too busy for friends. I see them when I want to. Yes, I realize it's been difficult for you. Bridie's father dying and the accident. We're all right. Yes. Well... You know, you can always come and have a little talk with me if you want to. Thank you, Vicar. Good night. Who is it? Good evening, Edwin. What do you want? I have an idea I want to discuss with you. Oh? What? Why don't you give Bridie and the children that bit of pasture beyond the church after their animals? I have no children. And she's responsible. That's not fair. You know the truth and you should admit it. If anyone's responsible, you are. Edwin, let me help you. Surely it's better to talk things out instead of locking them up and letting them go sour inside. You know, you'll only wreck yourself going on like this. You can't hurt her. She's invulnerable. Invulnerable? I don't want to see her about the place. She'll have to go somewhere. Who are you to say that? You're not a doctor. You know, you could do a lot for this village instead of moaning about what life has done to you. What she has done to me. And she's hardly suffered at all. How can you say that? You know as well as I do that she's... She'll never be the same as anyone of her own age. But she's not unhappy. Don't you understand that, you damn fool of a past? Why should she be unhappy? She can't remember. And thank God for it. Very thoughtful of you, Edwin. I think I need it. That bit beyond the wall would be a perfect animal's Valhalla. What do you say? It's a long time since anybody sat and drank with me. Well, then. About that land. Think it over, Edwin. I'll let myself out. Good night. Vulnerable. Where have you been? You hear me? Where have you been? Nowhere. Vicar's been here about you. You know that? Yes. Everybody's talking about you. Your goings on. Shaming me. Stand still! What's funny? You don't know how I've suffered all these years. Hints here, nudges there, about you and Dacre's boy. What? And all this burying business. 
Why do you do all these things to me? Vicar said you'd understand. Well, I don't. I thought you wouldn't if you was drunk. I didn't mean it, Bridie. Bridie? You're safe in them graves, you are. Nobody can hurt you now. Never again. I wouldn't mind being dead if it didn't hurt. with his gun. Killed a boy. His gun did. A long time ago. Out there. Oh, I didn't give it to him. He took it. It was loaded and he didn't know. He took it. Oh, dangerous that is. He was playing with this girl in that field and it went off. And he was killed. Dead. Not her, though. She's in. invulnerable. No, I do you? Who? This girl. You. Me? You was the girl. Only you wasn't killed. You was only wounded. There. Me? You killed my son. I did? I never. How could I? Took the gun away from him, didn't you? I knew you did. You were struggling with him like it, and it went off. Don't know what you're saying. I never had the old guy, never. Never. You killed him. Seven years ago. And I've waited all that time. All that time with a big knot in my head. He ain't got it no more. But I can't remember. I can't remember. Dan? The boy? What boy? You made it up. You made it up to frighten me. He's lying under that tree. Julian Dacre's only beloved son. Julian? It don't matter. It's all over now. It don't matter no more. Oh, tell me for someone else. It's all right. It don't matter no more. Oh, don't let it be me. Quiet. Don't let it be me. Listen. Don't let it be me. You can have that bit of land. Oh, oh wait. Don't let it be me. Listen. Don't let it be me. You can have no. that bit of land. Come here. <laughs>
It's Bridie. Yeah, well, give us your jacket. Quick! Is she dead? She's half drowned with water and dying of the cold. Did you fall in too? What's happened? Something to do with old Dacus. He got hurt. What, are they after her? Everybody. They all are. At least two? I seen one. Well, don't tell no one you've seen her. And don't tell no one you've seen me neither. Why not? Well, she's in trouble, isn't she? All right, then. I swear. Cross my heart. Where are you going with her? Where well, they won't find her. Now you go on. Put the jacket on her. They steal chickens, does Jippos. Reckon he's stolen Brady too? No. We let him take her, didn't we? That's not stealing. We let him take my jacket as well. My dad won't have bash me. Are we going to keep it a secret then? Got to, haven't we? Across my heart. And you nodded. Good evening. We're looking for a girl with fair hair. She's run away, frightened. Have you seen her? Have you seen her? No, we haven't, sir. Well, if you do see her, would you bring her back to the vicarage? Tell her there's nothing to be afraid of. Right. Thank you. You uh, know where the vicarage is, beside the church. Good night. Found her in the river. Drowning she were. Are you crazy? What are you doing bringing her here? They come here looking for her. Stop it. What you bring her to the wagons for? After that, they pass and tell him he found her in the river. No. Yes. We don't want trouble. We get enough. You bloody fool. You. What's the matter, then? Two boys said the law was after her. Two boys, huh? Did they see you with her, then? Look, you lump of you. You get us chucked off this dump. The best dump we've seen in months. Take her away. Take her back. No. Well, why not, pal? Well, she's in trouble. Uh. Out of my way. Trouble, is it? And what about us? Always his family brings us trouble. Ah. Ah. Can't keep away from women, can you? This one's a George or an English person. What have you done to us? Go on, get out. Get some soup. Taking her home. To bring her here to the wagons. You've got no right. Why should you care about her anyway? Well, I do. So now you know, don't you? Troubles. Nothing but troubles these days. There'll be none of us left soon. City men will drive us out. The sparrows will kill the red tanagers. Oh, put a sock in it, Jabble Jones. <laughs> Drink, me dearie. It's cushy. It's good. <laughs> Don't fear, me dearie. You're safe with us. Don't fear. She's ill, boy. Very ill. What's oh, cold of the water? No, it's a fever of the brain. It takes days and nights. What is this girl that you bring her to the wagon? I've been looking for her all my life. And all the others I was looking for her. She ought to be with her own people. No. No, oh, she's in trouble.
Solomon. Huh? Any of you seen a stranger around here? A girl? We're looking for her. Parson asked us. No, we haven't. I understand one of your boys was seen talking to her. Oh. Me? Yeah, I talked to a girl in the churchyard. White hair? That's the one. What do you talk to her for? Pretty girl. <laughs> when was this? A week ago. Have you seen her since? Well, if you do see her anywhere, bring her in, will you? We won't book you. Bastard. Come on, let's pack it up. Hit the road with the men, get back. Want the law to come after us, do you? That's the best way, that is. So she dies in there. And what do we do? Bury her in some dirty ditch. You stupid cow. Want a clip over your ear roll, do you? Never see her again. That's the way to talk, and that's the way to talk. Very hard, my dog had been with her. Poor old dog. Where is he now, then? Mm. At the Dickers. Got a good home there. If her home life were a little... If you paid more attention... And let to that... I don't know what she's talking about. Oh, gone again. Always think it's nice when you're upset to have people. Harold and Nelly were people. It's a shame. Another little tip. Yeah, have another drop of gin. Some of your gin men. Get your pen, Philip. Don't be dead. It's a shame, really. It's a shame. It's a shame, Rob. Remember Roy Bin? Now don't be a feared. I'll never get you as long as I'm here. What's this place? It's Grandma's wagon. Have I been stolen then? Only from the river. I fished you out. And kissed you back in life. I brought you here for safety. You've been ill. Then it went to dream, then. Put me in this here. My hey, Grandma. Comes from Cardiff Hospital. Fed you on your arrow. Sorrel herbs. 
put dock leaves on your head for the fever. Well, look, this is you then. See Mrs. White? Yes. How did she look? Clean and comfortable. I said something inane, like, how are you? She didn't open her eyes, but I thought I saw the glimmer of a smile, and then she said, I think I'm gone too. What did Matron say? Usual. If she has any relatives, they'd better come at once. Poor Mrs. White. Poor Bridie. Why couldn't any of them talk to me? All they used to seem to have for me is to see them decently married or buried. I still think she'll come back. To what? Dorothy, Dorothy, sitting up, is it? Better? Have some nice hot soup. Chicken. A jug. Oh, dear. Bit like chicken, though. Better. Am I far from home? No. I'd like to go home now. It's not too much trouble. How long have I been here? Many days, all right. Did no one come for me? I mean to say my man will be worried. You'll be stronger soon. And the boy Roy Bin, he'll take you home. I'm strong now, after this hedgehog. The little lady is bothered for her mum. I tell her you take her home, soon. I'd like to go home. What happened that night? What night? Night I fished you out the river. Hey, you got a pain? My feet. You're sitting on them. Fluttering hand. Like a little bird. Right now you want to go home? Yes. My ma'am, my dog. Don't want you to go home. Got to, haven't I? Followed you for days. Can't stay here, can I mean to say? Sitting beside you for days and nights. Sometimes in your dreams you cry out. I put my arms around you for the heart's comfort. And you sleep again. The river brought you to me. I brought you to the wagon. You're safe. No one can hurt you. Done nothing wrong. I'm scared, that's all. Can't help me for running. Police came, too. Police? Looking for you. What happened? Soon wagons will take to the road. They'll go to the Welsh Hills. I'll not see you no more. You come with us. Tell them. Well, will I go get your dog for you, then? For as much as it hath pleased Almighty God of his great mercy to take unto himself the soul of our dear sister here departed, we therefore commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. There's a lot about dust in the Bible, ain't there? What's it mean? Nothing to do with me. 
God's the dustman, he throws dust in our eyes and makes us go to sleep forever. Mrs. White's gone for sleep forever now, hasn't she? God, what a pawn! Why didn't the vicar cry? Mrs. Herbert did. Afraid she's next, wouldn't wonder. She's old. Don't have to be old to be dead. Bridie ain't old. Bridie ain't dead. Where's she then? Australia. Maybe she's been stole by the Jippos. Sometimes I sleep here. I sat quiet before the birds wake. No roof for me. There's the trees, the sky, and me Duval watching over me. Me Duval? Who's he then? My God. Oh. Call the police, then. Eh? Bet you can't do that. That's good, that is. You've got eyes like the river. Muddy. Cloudy. White. What's my name? You remember, don't you? You remember everything. Your name, where you come from. What happened before you went in the river? I don't want to talk about it. They're too big, aren't they? Make my feet look funny, don't they? My man will laugh when she sees me in this slot. Will you be happy? Like there, in that village. You keep asking. What you dreaming then? I'll never forget you. No matter where I go, I'll see you as you are now. Daytime, dreams, sunset, moonlight, through woods and across fields, flitting before me in gypsy boots. You going away then? I have to. They don't let us stay long, no place anymore. Will you be coming back? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, I'd have to choose you out of all the world. When I was a little boy, my mum cried all the time. Why did she? Hmm? Why? She loved the Georgiou. You know, some people see someone and they say, that, that's the only one for me. And if they can't have them, well, life's small beer, I reckon. Maybe one day that can happen to you, eh? I don't... I only play with kids. No one ever talked to me this way. There's... There's only my mom and I don't ever tell her anything. But I remember. Well, don't be frightened. What do you remember? A boy. Hundreds of years ago. Like a dream, really. We used to play in these fields, down by the river. Remember no more. Maybe. You put flowers on him. I used to cry too, like your mama. In my bed. Nobody ever told me why he never came to play anymore. Never talked of him. He just played where he's 
his overcoat lies in the graveyard. And then that other night, well, he told me I killed him with a gun. Who told you? Oh, Dacus, that's who. Showed me the gun, ran after me with it. But I couldn't have hurt Julian. Not him. <laughs> Not him. <laughs> well, don't cry, then. <laughs> don't cry no more. <laughs> you said it now. <laughs> Can't hurt you no more. You're going away, too. Would you stand alone in your life? Wild winds, rains of winter, scrap heaps, tent dwellings, could you? Don't know. Don't go away, not yet. Well, don't you go home, not yet. Well, I'll get used to it, won't I? It's hard life. People ever actually knew to be on your way. Georgias don't like us. They never did. Oh, we don't do them no harm. You're on a bit of poaching. If you want it. I'd even try to be asked to Ella. Just don't want you to leave me. That's all I know. There's a thumping in my stomach that says that. Tomorrow I'll go and tell my mom. Oh, and you won't come back and they send us packing, I know. Well, I'll find you, see if I don't. Now you don't know the poker and cush of pens a drum. But ask Romany for you. It means speaking sticks that tell the way. Well, show me. Show me. Well, look. The white side points away. It's called the pattern. Hmm? Sometimes two pieces of rag on a bush means the same thing. See, if this stick lies straight that way, it means we've gone with the wagon. Mm -hmm. If it's bent that way, it means we've gone on foot. Or well, well, sometimes we have to move sharp. Or oh, tough to... Grass at crossroads, mounds of dried earth. Now the sticks sometimes. Got to have good eyes. I got good eyes. Big ones. I love you. I love you, I love you. Not long, did he? I don't have to go. That's a him, ma'am. I guess not she'll send the police. I'm not a kid, I'm 17. Can't keep a secret, eh? We never said nothing to nobody, not a word. Not a blooming word. You ain't dead, then. I could have been. Coming home, May Bride. How's my mum? All the animals are buried in the vicar's garden now. Cutting close to them raspberries. Smashing that is. But how's my mum? She's gone. Gone? Where's she gone then? The dustman took her. Dustman? <gasps> Who's he then? It's God is the dustman. God took her? You mean she's... gone? Well, she can't be. Oh! She's been with me all my life, has Mum. She couldn't have gone without my knowing. She was gone all right. Went to the funeral. Harold and Nelly and... Everyone. But everyone is getting dead. Come on, Bride. Come on home. Home? I haven't got home. Nowhere to go. Nothing. Nothing. 
Excuse me. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Nothing else don't matter. Listen. Listen. There's people in this world with the lost people. Lone people. I'm one, you're another. Now I got you, you got me. There ain't nothing to fear so long as we're together. What do you want to do? Do? Go back with them and stay with me. Oh, I'm frightened. Don't be frightened. You ain't done no wrong. If you want to go back along with them, Want to run away? Don't run away. They chase his runners. Look. Look. There's got to be two for happiness. Birds, animals, people. If there's two of anything, they're unhappy. And you got me. You got us. <sighs> Something for you. Yours and mine. Cut it when you was asleep. It's good luck for when we ain't together. Chumape. What's that? Marriage kiss of the Romanis. She's Chimapi. I'll go to my mum. My mum is grave and I never come back. Straight. They won't let you come back. <laughs> I said they won't let you come back. They will, they will. The vicar will when I tell him. Vicar's all right. I'll wait. I'll wait here. Find her here? No. We found her in the long meadow. What was she doing there? Getting married. She's Chimapi. She's what? She's one of the jippos. What are you talking about? Come, Riley. Come home with me. I'll take care of her. Yes. All right, children, you go along home. I'll look after Riley. She's going to be all right. Quite all right. She's going to be all right. Must try and pull yourself I together. I must go back. I must. I said I would. He's waiting. Who's 
waiting, Bridie. Who? Roy Bill. Roy Bill. He's one of the gypsies, I think. I promised him. I promised. Now, listen, Bridie. You're not well. I don't care. Bridie, stop crying. Otherwise, we can't help you. No. Uh, I shall go back. See, after all, I. I got no mom and no home now, and, and there was good to be them gypsies. And Robin, he's waiting. He said he'd wait, he's waiting. All right, if you'll control yourself, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to send a message to uh, Robin and tell him to come down here tomorrow morning. Now, what do you say to that? Thank you, Vicar. Good. Now, I'll get you a hot drink and you go to sleep. He's all I could left to see him and Dog. I'll send that message. Yeah, Slim, Vicar wants a word with you. Right. Hello, sir. Look, I want you to do something for me. I want you to go to the gypsy camp immediately. Gypsy camp, sir? Yes. There's a young man there called Roybin. Uh, who's that, sir? Roybin. Tell him that Bride is at the vicarage here with us. Bridie? Yeah, she's back. Oh, she's back. But tell him that she's not well and that we intend keeping her here tonight. Okay, sir. And tell him that I want to see him here tomorrow morning. Right, sir. She's asleep now. The boots are at attention at the foot of the bed. Everything's under control. I've called the doctor and told the police that she's back. They're both coming in the morning. But she's all alone now, Philip. What'll happen to her? I can see no alternative now but at home. The doctor will know the best way of going about it. We'll talk to him. But if this boy, Roybin, comes... Well, I'll just have to explain to him. I don't think he will come to you. Gypsies. Bridie! Come on, let's go. We've got to get out of here. Why? They sent up a man. Now, you heard me. Get out of here, the lot of you, for tomorrow. What we've done, Giorgio. Kidnapping. That's what you've done. Lucky for you, the girl escaped. You'll be gone before morning. Now, the police will be up here after you. What's happened, then? Had about enough of you. Put you inside for two pins. What have I done, then? Kidnapping. That's what you've done. Punishable, that is. Bloody chippers. Ask her, then! If you're still here in the morning, you won't be able to ask nobody nothing. You'll end up in clink. Right. Well, get that git. Look, you just shut your trap and do like he says. Now, go and pack your gear, because we are moving. I'm not going. I said I'll wait. And wait I will. She won't come, boy. She will. Listen here, you. Let go of me. Look. They'll hold her. And we'll wind up in the bloody stir. Don't be divvy, old boy. You don't never work out. Remember your mum. I'll not go. Shut your gab. You cock sparrow. Thank you, Bridie. Uh, that's all, Vicar. Thank you. Thank you. Well, then, uh, good morning, Mrs. Moss. Uh, look after yourself now, girl. Eh? That'll be all right, sir. We've had all the facts from Mr. Dacre's. Uh, you'd be glad to know she's back, sir. Reckon we all are. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Evans. Good day, Vicar. It wasn't too difficult, was it? Vicar, will you marry Roybin and me? Eat up a breakfast, Bridie. Will you? Bridie, he hasn't turned up, has he? But he said he'd wait. 
gave me this, see? It's the Chuma Pesi. He gave it me for when we're not together. The Lord watch between me and thee when we are absent one from another. Entreat me not to leave thee, or to return from following after thee. Whither thou goest, I will go. Where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people. Thy God, my God. Yes, that's it. Bridie. Yes? In the hall, the coat rack. Get yourself a, a cape, a coat or something. And hurry up. What are you going to do? I don't know. I really don't know. The doctor's coming. Lovely day, isn't it? we should go back. I'm never going back. Bridie, right, I'm... What have I got to go back for? You tell me that. The white side points the way. What is it? Buckering Kosh. What? You can go home now, Vika. Thank you very much for coming. Goodbye. Come back. Are you all right? Yes, it's nothing. It's just my silly old back. I found another. Look, it points to the road. They've gone on the road. He wants me to follow. Brady, you can't go not now. There'll be miles. I've got to have a dice left of sticks. Yes, but I can't keep up with you. Well, you go home then, Vicar. I'll be all right. Uh, yes, I'll, uh, I'll go and get my bike and follow in case you get into trouble. All right, all right. You follow then. I'm mad. I'm absolutely mad.
Wait on him, but bring you back. Hey, just a minute. 